In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Today, my dear brothers and sisters, we are celebrating the feast of the dedication of the Lateran Basilica. And with this dedication, we offer our prayers to God. We offer our prayers to Signor Santo Nino. And we also include in our prayers all the intentions offered here by the pilgrims and devotees of Signor Santo Nino. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess, Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary of our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy in us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Of the world, have 
Prepare an eternal dwelling for your majesty. Increase in your church the spirit of grace you have bestowed, so that by new growth your faithful people may build up the heavenly Jerusalem. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. The angel brought me back to the entrance of the temple, and I saw water flowing out from beneath the threshold of the temple toward the east. For the facade of the temple was toward the east. The water flowed down from the southern side of the temple, south of the altar. He led me outside by the north gate and around to the outer gate facing the east where I saw water trickling from the southern side. He said to me, This water flows into the eastern district down upon the Araba and empties into the sea, the salt waters, which it makes fresh. Wherever the river flows, every sort of living creature that can multiply shall live, and there shall be abundant fish. For wherever this water comes, the sea shall be made fresh. Along both banks of the river, fruit trees of every kind shall grow. Their leaves shall not fade, nor their fruit fail. Every month they shall bear fresh fruit, for they shall be watered by the flow from the sanctuary. Their fruit shall serve for food and their leaves for medicine. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The waters of the river gladden the city of God, the holy dwelling of the Most High. The waters of the river gladden the city of God, the holy dwelling of the Most High. God is our refuge. And our strength, an ever present help in distress. Therefore, we fear not, though the earth be shaken 
and mountains plunge into the depths of the sea. The waters of the river run in the city of God, the only dwelling of the most high. There is a stream whose land lets blood in the city of God, the only dwelling of the most high. God is in its midst, it shall not be disturbed. God will help it at the break of dawn. The waters of the river land in the city of God, the holy dwelling of the most high. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. Come behold the deeds of the Lord, the astounding things He has wrought on earth. The waters, the waters of, of the river land in the, the city of God, the holy dwelling of the most high. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, you are God's building. According to the grace of God given to me, like a wise master, builder, I lay the foundation, and another is building upon it. But each one must be careful how he builds upon it, for no one can lay a foundation other than the one that is there namely jesus christ do you not know that you are the temple of god and that the spirit of god dwells in you if anyone destroys god's temple god will destroy that person for the temple of god which you are is holy the word of the lord thanks be to god Sing hallelujah to the Lord. Sing hallelujah to the Lord. Sing hallelujah. Sing hallelujah. Sing hallelujah. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Since the Passover of the Jews was near, Jesus went up to Jerusalem. He found in the temple area those who sold oxen, sheep, and doves as well as the money changers seated there. He made a whip out of cords and drove them all out of the temple area with the sheep and oxen and spilled the coins of the money changers and overturned their tables and the those who sold doves, he said. Take these out of here and stop making my father's house a marketplace. His disciples recalled the words of scripture, Zeal for your house will consume me. At this the Jews answered and said to him, What sign can you show us for doing this? And Jesus 
answered and said to them, Destroy this temple, and in three days I will raise it up. The Jews said, This temple has been under construction for 46 years, and you will raise it up in three days? But he was speaking about the temple of his body. Therefore, when he was raised from the dead, his disciples remembered that he had said this, and they came to believe the scripture and the word Jesus had spoken. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. May buntag o may adlaw ka na itong tanan. My dear brothers and sisters, there is this uh, message or a graduation speech shared by a CEO of Google and Alphabet. And his name is Sandar Pichai. And he delivered a one-minute uh, speech. And I would like it to share with you his very brief and very short message to the students. And he said that, in life, we are compared to a ball. And in life, we have five balls. The five balls are work, family, health, friends, and soul. It will not be long before you, before you realize that work is a rubber ball. Whenever you fall, you will jump again, while the other balls are made of glass. If one of them falls, it will not return to its previous form. It will either be damaged, bruised, cracked, or even scattered. You have to be aware of that and strive for it. Manage your work efficiently during working hours. Take the time to be assured of your sincerity. Give the necessary time to your family and friends. Take appropriate rest and take care of your health. If you are gone, it isn't easy to return as it was. These are his words, my dear brothers and sisters, and very simple and very meaningful message. And indeed, tinuod yun, na kung dilit ni mo balansihon, if you're not able to balance your life, things will easily break. And an added reflection for this, brothers and sisters, I would like to ask, how are we going to take care of our soul? Today, my dear brothers and sisters, we may be celebrating the feast of the dedication of the Lateran Basilica. And the Lateran Basilica is like, or is, the cathedral of the Bishop of Rome or in the Diocese of Rome. And this is the seat, actually, of our Pope and not the St. Peter's Basilica. A little bit of history of this basilica, my dear brothers and sisters. This was created, donated by the Laterani family, and it is located outside the St. Peter Basilica. And this is 
the seed of the Pope. But right now, the Pope is not staying there only from time to time. And the Pope or Pope Francis, or Pope Francis is standing just beside the palace, beside the St. Peter Basilica. And we may be celebrating this feast and considered to be the mother and head of all churches in the world and in Rome, but we are actually being reminded not only of the church building, because church building are indeed places of worship, are sacred spaces, just as what we are told today from our gospel, how, how Jesus cleansed the temple of God, cleansed the temple from people who took advantage by selling animals or by making it a market. And yes, indeed, the first message of our celebration today is to pay respect and to honor the churches that are built because they, these are sacred spaces where we could pray, where we could find solace and silence in talking to God. That we bring ourselves into a church so that we could focus because it is really very different to, to say your prayer in the midst, you know, in our work, in our homes. Yes, they say that we could, we could pray in different places, but nothing beats like praying inside the church. And the second message of, of, our, of our celebration today is how Jesus considered and revealed to us that He Himself is the temple of God. That where God resides in Him, that He is the second person of the Trinity. And with this new perspective, with this revelation that Jesus has told us in our gospel, our beloved disciples took a reflection of it and they brought us closer to God by saying that we, our human body, ourselves, is also the temple of God. We became a temple of God is because we were created in the image and likeness of God. And so they say that when you abuse your body and when you do not take care of your soul, it is as if that you are destroying the temple of God. And being our body as the temple of God and our soul, we are actually invited to really take care of our soul. And how do we take care of our soul? Just as what Jesus did in the temple to cleanse it, to cleanse it, to clean. And how do we clean our soul? We ask forgiveness from the Lord. And only God could restore our broken soul. Only God could heal our broken hearts. Yes, indeed, just like the beautiful message of Sandar Pichai about the five balls, no, when the other four balls are broken, and when you try to fix it, no, the, the scars will remain. 
The scars will remain is because it will make, it will be a part of you already. But the one who would attach it again would always be God. The scars will remain, the bruises will remain because it would always remind you, these scars will remind you of your past, of your journey. But the one who will try to fix you would be God. To take care of her soul is to cleanse it. And to cleanse it is through forgiveness. And only God could heal us. And I hope, my dear brothers and sisters, in the celebration of this, of this, the feast of of the Lateran Basilica, or every time that we visit a church, always be reminded that you yourselves, that we ourselves, are also a temple of God. When we respect in, in entering the church or in the basilica, when we respect it, let us also show respect and care for ourselves. And I would like to say it again, in work, we can bounce back. But in family, friends, health, and your soul, it would not bounce back once it is broken. Amen. Please, all rise. Our Savior dwells within the living temple of His church. A baptized people gathered around the successor of St. Peter. We pray to our Father inspired by the Holy Spirit. And our response be, Lord, bless us, your living temples. Lord, bless us, your living temples. That your universal church may grow in unity and faith through our fidelity to the Pope. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, bless us, your living temples, that nations may live in peace and avoid vindictiveness and rivalry. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, bless us, your living temples, that those searching for God may find the rock of Peter's faith and the courage of St. John the Baptist. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, bless us, your living temples, that we may demonstrate our faith by the way we care for and use this church building. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, bless us, your living temples, that the dead may become living stones in the eternal temple. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, bless us, your living temples, that the servant of God Chofilo Kamumut, Bishop, be raised to the altar of the saints. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, bless us, your living temples. For all the intentions and prayers offered by the pilgrims and devotees of Senior Santo Nino, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, bless us, your living temples. For peace in our country and in the whole world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, bless us, your living temples. For all in direct patient care, give them strength for their service. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, bless us, your living temples. For all those isolated in their homes, sustain them in joy and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, bless us, your living temples. For decision makers at all levels, send them your wisdom and good counsel to serve their communities. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, bless us, your living temples. For all those who have died because of the pandemic and those who grieve their loss in isolation, comfort them in their sorrow. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, bless us, your living temples. 
Loving Father, you raised the body of your Son, the glorious temple of the resurrection, as his mystical body and temple on earth, we offer our prayers to you, hoping to share in the same resurrection. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord of sinners sacrifice their hands with the praise and blood of His name, for the good and the good of all His solitude. Accept, we pray, O Lord, the offerings made here and granted by it, those who seek your favor may receive in this place the power of the sacraments. In the answer to their prayers, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in your benevolence you are pleased to dwell in this house of prayer in order to perfect us as a temple of the Holy Spirit, supported by the perpetual help of your grace and resplendent with the glory of a life acceptable to you. Year by year you sanctify the church, the bride of Christ, foreshadowed in visible buildings, so that rejoicing is a mother of countless children she may be given her place in your heavenly glory. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, heaven and Sana in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Sana, Sana in the You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fault of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending on your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this. All of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. (laughs) 
in a similar way when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which we poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Sail on, sail on the world For by cross and resurrection You have set us free Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of His death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread through all the world and bring her the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Jose our Archbishop, the exiliated Bishop and all the clergy. And remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy in us all, we pray. And with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Augustine, St. Monica, St. Lorenzo Ruiz, St. Pedro Calusit, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs within a life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Oh. the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching we there to say. Our Father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be This day our daily bread And forgive us our trespasses As we forgive those who trespass Against us And lead us not into temptation But deliver us Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For that is the kingdom, the power and the glory for heaven. Amen. 
Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, it's hailed by the saints of the world, and birds say on us. Lamb of God, it's hailed by the saints of the world, and birds say on us. Lamb of God, he take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that I should enter under my roof, but I will say the word that my soul shall be healed. act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who chose to foreshadow for us the heavenly Jerusalem, through the sign of your church on earth, grant we pray that by our partaking of this sacrament, we may be made the temple of your grace and may enter the dwelling place of your glory through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer to Saint Michael the Archangel. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be May our protection against, against the wickedness and snares of the, the devil. devil. May, May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan, and all the evil spirits roaming around the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Mary, Queen of Angels, pray for us. Holy angels in heaven, pray for us. Blessing of religious articles. Let us pray. God, by His word, all things are made holy. Pour out your blessing on these religious articles and symbols of devotion and faith. And grant that anyone who uses them in accordance with your will and your law, and with a spirit of thanksgiving, may experience their power, health in body, and protection in soul, as invoke your most holy name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. I will be up in the walks with you. You will be upon the city in my hand. Thank your heart and your heart to you. 
strong. 